my name is Emma, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite inspiring girls in YA. This video is being made as a part of a paid promotion with Disney Hyperion in honor of the release of Clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. Clicked just hit shelves this past September 5th, and it is definitely a release I am very excited for. Clicked is a middle grade novel that follows a girl named Allie who has just recently gotten back for a summer camp for girls who code. The whole point of Clicked is to make new friends, so it pairs people up based on common interests, and it sends them on a super fun scavenger hunt so that they can find each other. And immediately, as soon as she gets back to school, everyone in the school has downloaded Clicked. Allie is preparing to enter a youth coding competition, which she's feeling really great about because everyone has loved Clicked so far, but unfortunately there is a glitch in the system that starts revealing all of the user's secrets. So it is basically a rush for Allie to fix the app, to win the competition, as well as to make it up to the friends that were hurt by this app. So I am personally very excited to read Clicked. If you did not know, I have been raving about one of Tamara Island Stone's previous books, Every Last Word, for a very, very long time now. I love this author. She's a wonderful woman. I love her book that I have read from her in the past, and I can't wait for her newest release. So in honor of the release of a novel featuring a young girl going into a STEM field, I wanted to share just a roundup of some of my favorite inspiring women protagonists in YA that would be good role models for young girls. So firstly, I have the one and only Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Hermione is a character that I feel a lot of us have grown up beside. I think for a lot of us in the reading community, Hermione is a character a lot of us can identify with as somebody who might be an outcast, who might have interests that are not in line with all of the other things that popular people are into. As a Muggleborn, Hermione experiences some prejudice in the wizarding community, and she does not let that stop her from pursuing her dreams. She is still the brightest witch of her age. She is extremely intelligent. She is always pursuing her dreams, and I feel like that is something extremely important to see in YA. She is immensely clever. She is a hard worker. She's a dedicated friend. She's all around a really great person, and I feel like she is definitely one of the girls in YA that really stand out to me as somebody who should represent other women in the world. The next inspiring girl of YA that I would like to share with you is Star Carter from The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This book only came out in 2017, and Star has truly left an impact on my heart. If you have not heard the synopsis of this book, Star Carter is the sole witness to the wrongful murder of her best friend by a police officer. And so she goes through a lot of internal conflict as to, does my voice matter here? Should I speak up? Should I be silenced? Because that is all that I've known from the past for people like me. So Star goes through a lot of character development in finding her voice and recognizing that she is important, that her voice has a place in this world. And I think those themes are so important for young teens to experience. In my opinion, The Hate You Give is so much more than a story that challenges racism and police brutality. It's a story about being a girl in a world where the odds are stacked up against you. It is about learning to use your voice, learning to stand up for what is right, learning to stand up to the friends that have previously wronged you, and ultimately learning to fight for what you believe in. I just think The Hate You Give is so important. Star Carter is a character that we really need in YA. She's somebody that I want to emulate, and I think the course of her story throughout this book is something that a lot of other teens should experience as well. We have another Carter on this list and that is Viv Carter from Moxie by Jennifer Matu. Moxie comes out in like just over a week. It hits shelves on September 19th and it is absolutely one of my favorite books of 2017. Viv attends a public school where unfortunately sexism and misogyny are a daily occurrence. She is super over the way her male classmates treat her. She's over the way that the teachers don't respond correctly. She feels like she's in a place where nobody is fighting for her and in response to that she starts to fight for herself and the other girls in the school. Viv creates a feminist zine that she starts giving out anonymously in the girls bathrooms at school and over the course of the story there is just this epic feminist rebellion going on to shut down the sexism in the school and it was super freaking cool. Similar to Star and the Hate You Give, Viv is really passionate about fighting for what she believes in and fighting for others. She's an extremely intelligent young woman. She has her head in the right place and I think Viv's story is something that a lot of us, especially young girls, can relate to. So if you are tired of the girls hating girls trope, if you are interested in finding a story where girls are supporting each other, they're uplifting each other, and fighting for what they believe is right, that is just full of so many strong women, I would really recommend reading Moxie because I think Viv is so such an inspiration for so many young girls. The next inspiring girl protagonist in YA that I want to talk about is Katie Grant from the Illumine Files series. I feel like Katie is a protagonist that is super underrated in the community. Katie Grant emulates the word awesome. She is truly a brave soul. She has lost everything and she continues to sacrifice even more and more to help others. She is the definition of selfless. She is extremely clever. Keeping your cool 
people at like the literal end of the world is something I feel like a lot of us can't do and she does perfectly. Throughout Illuminate, Katie has so many obstacles in her way that a lot of us would probably have given up at the first try, but Katie is persistent, she is determined, and she does not let those obstacles stop her from achieving her goals. And I think, again, just everything I'm talking about in this video is just so important. And I feel like Katie, again, is very underrated and we need to appreciate her awesomeness more. The next girl protagonist of YA that I would like to talk about is Amanda Hardy from If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Amanda is a trans teen who has recently moved from her hometown in order to escape the really dangerous and life-threatening bullying that she was experiencing. And with this move, she hopes to live a new life as Amanda to leave her past behind, but she's still terrified that everyone is going to find out her secret and it's just going to be a recap of the past. A lot of times in YA, we see bravery as saving the world, as defeating evil, but I believe that Amanda shows bravery every day just by getting up in the morning and going to school. Every single day, Amanda carries the weight of the past bullying of her suicide attempt and just the general hardship of actually being who she is. The experiences of trans teens are something that I am never going to be able to identify with, but I feel like If I Was Your Girl really captures what it means to be a trans teen in dealing with the hardship of all of the confusion and the struggle of expressing yourself, but also the happiness that can come from being who you truly are. Amanda really preaches self-acceptance, inner strength, and just being who you are and being confident in that. And although maybe some of us aren't able to identify with Amanda's journey right on the dot, I feel like those themes are something that every adolescent who is going through a confusing time can also look forward to. My next favorite inspiring girl of YA is definitely one that I don't appreciate enough because my god is she everything and that is Inej Gaffa from the Six of Crows series by Leigh Bardugo. If you look up the definition of strong in the dictionary, you will find a picture of Inej. I think her story of overcoming slavery, abuse, and sexual abuse is so inspiring and one that is absolutely necessary to be heard. Inej is not a victim, she's a survivor. She has fought every single day to be where she is and I'm getting chills again. I can't make this video because I'm, I'm too overwhelmed. Inej all around is just amazing. She is super epic and amazing at everything she does. She is a loyal friend and she is definitely what I feel is one of the most inspiring women of color in YA and I think there is so much to her character that young girls can look up to. She's just so important and I love Inej so much, okay? And so the last inspiring girl of YA that I want to talk about is Emma Carstairs from the Dark Artifices series by Cassandra Clare. Y'all know Shadowhunter Chronicles is my thing and I went back for a really long time trying to figure out which protagonist did I really Really want to include in this video. And I chose Emma because of the strength and moments of adversity that she shows throughout the books that she's involved in. Emma has grown up in a time of war. I mean, without all of the extra responsibilities that Shadowhunters have to go through as young kids, she's had a really tough time. At a very young age, Emma lost both of her parents at the very same time and she had gone years without any closure whatsoever. That is an experience that I have never had to grow up with, but you really see throughout the span of the books that she's a part of how much that really shapes her character. And so with all that Emma has lost and gone through in the past, that does not stop her from fighting every day for what she believes in. She's extremely brave. She's the type of person that would protect her loved ones until her dying breath. And I just feel like that strength in moments of adversity is really what makes her so inspiring to me. And although sometimes it might be a little bit harder for us to identify with fantasy characters just at a glance because they live in a world that is completely different from our own and we're not the ones fighting all of these mythical creatures, I feel like there's so much of Emma that is grounded in reality that a lot of young girls can relate to. Emma is truly a warrior and not just in a fantasy sense and I feel like that is what makes her so inspiring to me. So that's really it for my video on inspiring girls of YA. Do not forget to pick up your copy of Clicked. It is in stores now and I've left a few links below. And again, thank you so much to Disney Hyperion for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to talk about some of the girls that I love so much in all of the books that I read. Let me know in the comments below what are some girls of YA that you find inspiring and why? Because I'm always down to find some more strong women protagonists. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!